Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos from Hong Kong, China. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the record or essential gadgets or tech that you should have with you when you travel. Um, for example, I'm here, you know, I'm from Canada, so I travel quite a bit, and I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. So let's look at some of the essential gadgets that you should have with you when you're traveling. Go! Hi everybody, so welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Here we are in sunny and very warm Hong Kong, China. Yes, I'm here on business. Uh, I have a day job as well. <laughs> anyway, so this, uh, I'm gonna do a, about three short videos uh, on, you know, like accessories that are essential if you are a traveler, right? If you're somebody on the go and you need access to your computer and you wanna be very productive, um, you know, while traveling all over the place. Uh, you know, three part series, essential gadgets, these are things that are not expensive, um, they're very small, but they're very powerful. Um, so in this first video, one of th uh, the first of three videos, we're going to be looking at something called the Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. This little thing can really, really <laughs> it, you know, improve your productivity while in a hotel room, a typical hotel room just like this. So what is this you may ask? Well, I've done some previous videos on this and the reason I'm doing another one on this is because I got so much great responses on this and I got a ton of questions. Um, but this actually plugs into the back of a flat screen television. So most modern hotel rooms like this have flat screen TVs. And you pretty much plug this into the USB port in the back of the TV. Yes, all modern TVs have USB ports. So plug this in. And then you just actually plug the uh, HDMI piece into any of the available HDMI ports in the back of the television. You then uh, go on your TV, select the HDMI port, and then you go into your computer. Um, now it's a Microsoft wireless display adapter. So because it's Microsoft, um, it works well, of course, with the Microsoft OS uh, um, devices. So I have here my trusty Surface Pro tablet here, which I carry around with me, very powerful, very light. Um, and I'm gonna show you just quickly how you set it up in mere seconds. Now with this version of Microsoft uh, Display Adapter, this is version 2, which is a newer version. Um, when you're storing it, it actually comes with this very cool plastic adapter, which keeps your ports protected and, you know, it actually extends the life of your device because you don't want to have these two things like loose and then, you know, you, the wire can actually get frayed over time. But if you have this nice little uh, plastic adapter, it keeps it in a more stable position when being stored. Now, a lot of TVs do have the USB port and the HDMI ports close together so that you can you know, plug this into the HDMI port and there's enough of a distance to plug this into a USB port. Some TVs, however, have the USB port on the other side or well, not really on the other side, but further away from the HDMI port. So the good folks at Microsoft have also given us an adapter or an extender, USB extender. And this is about, I'm guessing, maybe five inches. Uh, so you get additional... Um, additional extension so you can actually just plug your USB port in here I think it's just a oh wrong port I'm sorry and then you can have now you have an extension right now most modern flat screen TVs like this uh, most good hotels make it easy for you to get access to the back luckily enough for me in this one it actually comes on this nice pivot so you can easily just swing it out and then I can get access to all the ports in the back. And all I'm gonna do is just plug this in, it takes two seconds, and then we're good to go. So here's the back of the TV, and I'm in luck because the HDMI port is here, and we have two USB ports, but they're very, very close to each other, so I don't need the extender. So I'm just gonna plug this in. Da, 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 da. HDMI. USB. Oh, this way, I think it's the other way around. And there, we are set up. It is that darn easy. So as you can see, the display adapter just booted up and you saw the Microsoft logo. So here now it shows you MS Display Adapter 94. So that's the name of the adapter and it's ready to connect. And as I said before, you can use any Microsoft based device. Uh, so you can use your uh, this is a tablet, uh, Surface Pro tablet, or this is your Microsoft smartphone. I have the Surface Pro, so I use the tablet all the time. 
So let's go onto the tablet and let me quickly show you how to hook it up. Now this part is so easy, even my little cousin can do this. Um, so what you're gonna do, you, on your tablet, you just swipe left from the right. There should be a connect button right here. It says connect, click on that tile. Then it's gonna search for display adapters and there is the MS Display Adapter 94 that I was talking about. Uh, that's on the TV. That's the the idea of the display adapter. I simply click on that and it's going to connect and it says connected and while it says connected this is what happens on the television. It connects and in like what? Was that a half of a second or a fraction of a second? We have our screen mirrored on the big screen TV. Now what we've essentially done is create a second screen for us to be productive. So now Instead of me working on a boring desk, I can sit down on this lovely bed over here and I can do work. So now I have the option. I can work on this little desk or I can sit down and relax on the bed and I can work on my screen. And I can also set this up to have it extended so I have two screens, just like on, 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 on any uh, computer, computer multi-monitor setup. Um, so yeah, this is really, really nice. So obviously productivity is one good reason to have this Microsoft Display Adapter. But uh, one of my other popular uses for this, because I have the big screen TV, uh, it's great for when you are um, like surfing the web, for example. Um, it's you know easier on the eyes, um, and it makes surfing a bit more comfortable. And, and especially if you can do it from your bed, right? You can just relax. And for example, I'm looking at some of the best budget places to shop for in Hong Kong since I'm here. Um, and then of course, one of my favorite, other favorite applications, I'm sure you guys are familiar with is of course, Netflix. Um, so, and oh, one thing to note, so the sound does also go through into the TV, no wires. So sound and video, everything goes through the Microsoft Display Adapter into the TV. So this ends part one of a three part series on highly recommended gadgets to take with you if you are a traveler and you want to be productive on the road, the Microsoft Display Adapter. In our next video, part two, we're going to be looking at another essential gadget that you need, especially if you're traveling to places like Hong Kong. There should be a link on this video for part two. If not, um, you can find it below as well in the descriptor. Speaking of links, if you click on the link below this video, you can also get these online. Uh, and they're pretty, uh, going at a pretty good rate right now, so you can check them out as well. So check the link below this video. Okay, so until part two, bye-bye. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed that last video. So a couple of things before you leave. Number one, subscribe to this channel right now. Click on the button that says subscribe below this channel right now. And um, number two, like this video if you like it, be honest. And uh, number three, I wanna hear some comments from you. So let me know what videos you want me to do, you know, what particular product, if it's a game, just leave a comment below and let me know. That way I can give you better content going forward. Now one other thing, you should subscribe uh, and you should also check out the links below this video too because I have links to uh, where you can get all the products that you see on my videos online at great deals um, as well as links to my, my website as well. So by you know going checking out the links, by definitely subscribing you also will be understanding how you can be eligible for, for, for giveaways, right? So I'm going to be doing all kinds of cool giveaways on stuff like what you see behind me, you know, Game Boy accessories, you name it. Um, and that's another thing as well, in the comments, let me know what giveaways you want me to do as well. So that's it everybody, so quick recap, subscribe, leave your comments, and um, definitely um, check, check out my website as well. Uh, so by subscribing and going to my website, you'll understand how you can participate in the giveaways. Uh, well, of course, one of the requirements is you have to be subscribed, so it's a no-brainer. So anyway, guys, till next time, happy gaming.